If you have a landline telephone, you've been made privy to the sheer abundance of unwanted nuisance callers that see it fit to call you all hours of the day and night to have you listen to some sales pitch or other unwanted spiel about something or other that you need to sign up for or vote for or purchase. And usually these calls continue unabated as most people have no real way to ward off such unwanted nuisance callers. So instead of hearing silence and the phone only rings when you when people are calling you that you actually want to speak with, instead you hear this all the time. Now fear not, I'm not trying to extinguish the sounds of a rotary telephone with mechanical gong ringers from my home, but I just want to lessen the number of times it does ring from unwanted callers, solicitors, and all those sort of people that I suppose take joy in annoying your afternoons, mornings, and evenings with unwanted sales pitches, schemes, Windows tech support scammers, the list goes on and on. Devices to block out such callers from disturbing your day are plentiful online, such as this CPR call blocker, which is eminently popular after being shown, I believe, on QVC, it's exploded in popularity and it acts as a call blocker blacklist device wherein if and when you get an undesirable call, you need only press the big red block now button and that'll add them to your block list and then next time they call, I believe they just get hung up on and they don't even hear anything, although they may get some sort of a pre-recorded message stating that they have been blocked. The only trouble with all these devices is that they rely upon caller ID technology to be enabled for your phone line. And while that's all well and good for people whose service providers at least provide caller ID phone number service, not caller ID name, but caller ID phone number service for free, there are providers that still think it's appropriate to charge people $15 for caller ID service. There's absolutely no reason in the world why such service should be so overpriced. Obnoxious and unwanted caller phone number database website 800notes.com has a pretty lively discussion going on, or at least had a pretty lively discussion going on, regarding the topic of telephone call blocking devices. Several mentions of several devices whose functionality varies from the caller ID based blocking devices presently available on Amazon, eBay, and other retailers. One such device was called the Telebouncer. The Telebouncer has since been discontinued from the man manufacturer for several years. The only one that I can find for purchase is available on Amazon.com at the measly sum of $179.99. I don't think it sold for anywhere near that much when it was new. There's also this device, the Telezapper from Privacy Technologies that you too can purchase for only $22.95. The only trouble with this device is that it allows all callers to get through to your main phones, or at least any phones connected to this device, so long as they're not a robocaller that relies upon the SIT tones generated by the phone provider. Special information tones are in-band international standard signals consisting of three rising tones indicating that a call has failed. Usually recording announcement follows. This particular tone, referred to as the intercept, is what the teller zapper happens to employ in its arsenal in attempting to keep telemarketers or at least automated robocalls at bay. Many robo dialers no longer notice the special information tones that may be generated from the phone company after the growing prevalence of people using these telezapper devices to combat such callers. So the wild success that the telezapper enjoyed was its own demise because most robo dialers began to include an option to ignore special information tones. One such device mentioned by a person on 800 notes in the call blocking devices discussion mentions a device referred to as the screen machine that allows you to insert your own outgoing message and allows you to set the number or code 
for the incoming caller to enter, thus completely bypassing the necessity of having caller ID phone number service for the device to function. The screen machine manufactured by Spectrum Research has been discontinued for several years, although that doesn't mean that you can't use these anymore. They haven't lost their functionality. The only determining factor in your success, of course, is finding one that works and one that isn't grossly overpriced. You never have to answer the phone unnecessarily, and it compares itself against the Telezapper, which does require you to answer the phone every time it rings, and then it emits a long tone that both you and your caller will, will hear, even when you're dialing out. I was under the impression that the machine picks up as a sort of answering machine, plays that tone, and then forwards the calls on to you, but I guess that isn't the case. It does not work for manually dialed telemarketing calls. Screen machine answers the call before your phone rings, plays a brief message that greets callers, turns away telemarketers, and instructs personal callers to press a button to continue. And an interesting distinctive ring functionality that allows callers to press a certain key and then you'll get a, a certain ring on your phone to distinguish who it is, which is very similar to the distinctive ring functionality prov once provided by many telephone companies where you would have several phone numbers to a list like a spouse or a relative and when they called you'd get a distinctive ring such as instead of just one long ring you get two shorter rings or perhaps even three rings so you can just tell your spouse relative etc to dial five and when they do your phone will ring a certain way and you'll know it's them without even having caller ID you know, I wonder what would happen if I happened to call that phone number. I also wonder what would happen if I happened to send in this limited warranty product registration card. Suggested screen machine personalized messages, such as stern themes. Make sure your caller knows exactly where he stands. Moderate, lighthearted, home officer business using our distinctive ring functionality. Well, it doesn't look quite new. It is used as evidenced by the rubber band in place of a wire tie. The two LED lights present on the front indicate whether it's powered up and or in use. Flipping it around reveals some ports as well as a switch for turning it on and off. Power port, your line in from your telephone company and your line out that goes to your telephone device. I don't know what it is about cables of any kind, whether it be a telephone line cord or even an electrical cord for an older piece of stereo equipment, a light, you name it. But they don't seem to get this inexplicable goo. I don't know if it's because it's beginning to break down, but it just leaves a disgusting sticky residue on everything it touches. So this cord is... Uh, getting thrown out. I'm not going to keep that. The cord even ended up smearing this mystery gunk on the back of the unit. The manual does provide explanation as to the functionality of this switch located here which says screen and then screen with your caller ID and it says that if you have caller ID you need to set the switch to screen with your caller ID. This allows your phones to ring one time which is required for proper operation of your caller ID. And I could see that presenting a problem because your phones would ring once and then the screen machine would pick them up. So if you want to eliminate your phone ring completely, obviously you need to disable caller ID service, which a lot of people wouldn't want to do. So that is a bit of a gotcha. The distinctive ring feature would come in handy as a sort of crude automated attendant directing calls to different extensions. Well, not quite extensions, but to different departments because you can just tell users to press 4 for the order desk, 5 for inquiries, 6 for customer service, and when somebody presses the respective key, that person will know, oh, I'm the sales desk, three short rings, then a pause, that's for me, let me pick up the phone and answer that. So that, that, that could be very useful in a uh, small business or an office or of some kind where you just want to have basic analog telephone sets It'll be interesting to see whether or not the default message is still present on here because it does state that there's no way to preserve it. Here's a typical installation scenario. Of course, once I get this set up, I'm going to hide this unit away. I'm not going to leave it out in the open like that. Device is connected up to AC power. 
the white line cord from the phone company or the modular jack that then thus in turn connects up to the phone company's lines outside goes into the, the, the two line jack on the device the black cord goes out to my telephone and now if I place a call to this with it set to screen take a listen this is a pre-recorded message that's left over from somebody Press 5, and if I shut the ringer off on this phone, you'll hear it sends a ringing signal to the people, so the call is still connecting. And then once you want to pick up, you simply talk, and you're finished, hang up. Now for a demonstration of the different distinctive ring patterns available. You've already heard the first one. I'll press 4 now. And I'll hang up once more, dial the phone number, and try distinctive ring pattern number 7. Or rather 6.